News out of Venezuela today, interim President Juan Guaido was able to return to Caracas despite a travel ban placed by Nicolas Maduro. And immediately after arriving, Guaido went straight to a rally being held by his supporters. Local 10 News reporter Cody Guaido was there and Cody joins us live now exclusively from Caracas with more. Cody. Well, Calvin Maduro had two options today. He could have Juan Guaido arrested as soon as he arrived at Caracas's international airport, but that would probably inch us closer here to some type of military confrontation. Instead, Maduro allowing Juan Guaido back in the country, but many saying today that's revealing his regime, regime's relative weakness and isolation. Juan Guaido arriving at Caracas's Maiquetia Airport today, overwhelmed by supporters. His return had been the subject of speculation for weeks. Nicolas Maduro's courts had banned him from leaving the country, an order he violated. But today, immigration officials allowing the 35-year-old through without issue. Saying at the airport, we are here and we will keep pushing forward. Why though later addressing supporters in eastern Caracas. Y atención. Saying listen up to the armed forces, it's clear that despite all of the threats, somebody didn't follow through with their job. The chain of command here is broken. Thousands gathering here to welcome Guaido back. That's even though Venezuelans are celebrating the Carnival holiday. Guaido had said the country didn't have anything to celebrate this year. Many here remaining hopeful that change could be on the horizon. That's even though the Maduro regime successfully blocked the entry of humanitarian aid on the border. We still have hope and believe that humanitarian aid will enter sometime soon. A hope that remains even though a clear path forward for Juan Guaido does not. And so until someone gives here, we enter another relative political stalemate here. For now, Juan Guaido just announced more protests scheduled for this Saturday. Reporting live here in Caracas, I'm Cody Weddle. Back to you guys. And you can only wonder what would have happened had he not have been allowed back into the country, Cody. That's right, Calvin. We saw we saw the uh, for the the advisor for U.S. foreign policy, John Bolton. He was warning Nicolas Maduro that if he laid a hand on Juan Guaido, that would have dire consequences. So I think Nicolas Maduro worried about some type of military invasion. Juan Guaido back in the country, headed for more protests. Cody, thanks a lot.